Hi, welcome to Art of Crafty Alchemy. Today I am sharing with you the October Hedgehog Holo Box. I'm the Art of Crafty Alchemist, let's see what's inside. This month's postcard looks like it's ready to colour in. Welcome to our October box. This die is amazing, it has taken a while to come together but I'm so pleased with the result. It is something very different and I think you're going to love the possibilities. We also thought we could change up the print this month to be something you can colour and add to your cards. Hope you enjoy this new idea. Happy crafting, Alexandra and the Prickle. The die she is talking about, I just have to find it. This die, it is the double interactive die. I'm going to have to watch the video again to learn how to use it. Basically two things can move towards each other at the same time. So that will be interesting. But I'm a little confused. We have Basil Card Shop card fronts, but they are shaped like this and our die isn't going to fit on the front panel. So that's a little confusing. That's our cards, bases and envelopes and there is 10 in that set. Quite nice but as I said a bit hard to use with that die. Next we have the holiday sentiments set. Wrapped for you from my family to yours. You'll never be alone in this season's night because you're both the gift that carries joy and light. Handmade with care. Remember all that matters more than even an ounce. For this special occasion, it's the thought that counts. Be full of joy, be full of light, seasonally yours. Christmas, happy Hanukkah. Love the giver more than the gift. It's about opening your minds that our hearts may shift. Love my gift to you and joyfully. Next we have the Santa snowman set and then the waving Santa stamp set. I'm guessing there's a way to make these pieces move with the interactive die to give Santa back his arms. Then there is layering stencil is our subscriber bonus. It has a reindeer a present that you can have the bow different color on the front and a Christmas tree and then snowflakes. We actually have different colored cardstock this month. We have foiled spot, a red, a purple and a blue and two sheets of heavyweight cardstock which I assume is for our moving parts and then we have some large brads and our candy cane. So I will have to watch the video and learn how to use this die and then I'll come back and try and make some cards. I have yet to figure out what to do with this die. I have to admit I made this and keep looking at it trying to work out what to do but with everything that's been going on in the last couple of weeks my head's not been in the game so I chose to set this aside and not focus on it for my cards and didn't even film a process video for these cards so it's just going to be pretty much a project share because of those of you who don't know Australia's on fire and I happen to be pretty close to one of the fires now so it's pretty stressful and things and they have relatives who have been in hospital and all sorts of stuff going on as well as trying to get ready for Christmas so in the end I gave up <laughs> and decided just to make some projects and share them with you. This was the first card I made. I used this stamp set and I used the little reindeer. I used all the presents and the chimney. And then I used the moon and the reindeer although I wish I had done them in grey rather than black because the black stands out an awful lot. <laughs> I coloured using my Inktense pencils. I have the complete set so I just grabbed whatever I felt I needed and then I also used the silver Uniball Posca silver 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter bullet nib pen. Now for this card I used the tree and then I used the line of trees. To do my borders I cut two pieces. This piece I used the line and cut along the line and then I had my two pieces and this one I have flipped. I thought it's made much difference <laughs> and used both sides. I started with the sky and I used tumbled glass and mermaid lagoon just with a foam blending tool and then for the grass I covered that up so I didn't go into the sky and I used peeled paint and lucky clover. 
this one is stamped in the amalgam ink it doesn't like to sit on top so that actually worked out really well for me it didn't give a crisp black image it gave a more faded away image and then for the closer image I used the jet black archival because it sits on top nicely for the arrows I used Hampton art and for the Today I Celebrate You, which is from a Kaiser Craft set, I used this silver embossing powder that I think I got off my mum. And it has two stamp companies on here, oh, two stamp shops on here, which probably neither one of them are now open. One's in Mittagong and one's in Barrel. And for both of them, I used the scalloped cards that came in the box. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the cards I made. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this, and hit the bell notification to see when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.